In this video, the Google Photos app, we're going to search your map and then look at the map view and grid, default satellite and terrain, the heat map and then the timeline and look out for the black dots which are photos on the same day and at the bottom of the image is view entire path with this unfolded piece of like map like paper. So this is quite a, an amazing interesting thing really. Um, here's a heat map over London of some of my own photos. Notice that some of these photos at the bottom, if not all of them, are from Google Earth, not in real life. So in other words, if something's uploaded which is uh, has a geolocation, then it will show. Once I was out in um, Somerset House in London, June 2015, and you can see the blue path, which is the timeline, once again the black dots saying that they are the same day pictures. So let's go out for a live demo, which is this search and then straight away onto your map and it opens up like this. Now I'm going to do a highlight very quickly um, but thoroughly on London here. So what we're actually seeing first of all is that this is a top right three dot menu default we can actually change down to the satellite view which is harder to pick out the photos and the heat map then we can go over to terrain which I might leave it on which is quite nice so it tells us that we're in London and if I scroll down to the bottom you can see immediately this is a good example where all the dots are on the same day so I've came in uh, from the northeast on the train um, somewhere through there the, the line isn't my path, it's actually where my phone or where they, they believe that they're connecting the, these dots together. So I'll show you what I mean in that I can hold dead centre and scroll down so I can get a bigger look at the map. And then I can come along and hold and pull it right up to the top so I can get a better look at the photos. Now, Somerset House here, if I tap on one photo, you'll see that, uh, okay, that's a picture and it's geolocated. So if I come down here, it will clearly see, uh, it's just a, a nice look to it all. It's not only got the geolocation on because every t photo I take uh, is from the mobile phone here or I'm actually using the um, open camera or the Motorola phone camera and I make sure that geolocation is on because as I'll show you in a second I take a lot of pictures from forests and woodland and it's really impossible to see where you've been but over time it is quite an amazing feature so for an example if you go in and you can see there's some heat maps here tiny little dots all you need to do in actual fact let's put it halfway because it's pretty obvious that um, we can see both the grid and also the the map once I tap you can clearly see that as I move around and I can tap anywhere I like here and as I go through can you see the way I'm moving this is just Somerset House so to finish this what I'm going to do is I'm going to notice that as I so kind of move it back up again as I zoom out and I move the map then the photos you see there's no photos there in Stratford East London but if I go up past Epping which is interesting because there isn't there are tons and tons where I go out in the forest you might have seen some of my pictures so the point here is if I go in and I'm looking say at Birch Spring down here which is a forest area that I go to quite regularly you can clearly see in the forest and if I put it down onto satellite you can see that that is a forest area and clearly the lines there are indicating that they are public UK footpaths If I put it back on terrain for a moment then as I'm going through looking at the photos over time you can clearly see where some of these photos are taken here's one look with a tree and if I come back you can see where that one is taken place and then I can start to look black dots are photos on the same day I think that's all I need to say on this really without getting involved because at the end of the day you're going to probably be interested in your own photos of course if you disable any locations in the photos or in the app it's not going to show so well but in conclusion we have the Google Google Photos app on Android that I'm showing watch out for the black dots the heat map and of course oh hold on a second we haven't done the entire path so I apologize for that but I can easily correct it very quickly search once again map then if I go down to whole path let's have a look here at um, Havering so if I click on say Bedford's Park where I looked at some red deer notice that where it says 1st of Feb 2020 I can 
tap whole path and then you get the whole path of where I've come out of um, the city uh, towards the other areas there and then I can look at the whole path of what I did in that day very very good to look as an archive for your things so let's finish up there